Okay, your daily warm ups or stretches are going to consist of toe touches. So simply bend over, keep your knees straight, um, touch your toes if you can. If not, this is okay. Just make sure that you have um, a good stretch with those hamstrings. Take your time, let it sit a couple seconds. Use your core, tighten it to come back up. You can even do a little bit of a back bend before you reset and do another rep. So really stretch those hamstrings, super important, um, especially for speed and agility and the exercises you'll be doing. And then walking lunges with a twist. These are basic. Um, you're gonna twist with every walking lunge. So you're gonna wanna complete 20 of those. Calf raises, um, if you have a stair step, awesome. But stand on your tippy toes on that stair step and then lower your heels below your toes um, to get a good stretch on the calves. And then side shuffles. So, you know, you're just gonna get low and you're gonna shuffle. Get that sideways movement. You need that for when you're in the outfield. Windmills, so this is gonna loosen up those shoulders. So you're gonna do forward, reverse it, go backwards. Air squats, again, just using good legs. You're gonna squat down, try to get that butt below your knees, below parallel. Do not let your knees exceed your toes, so you want a pretty straight line um, from your toe to your knee, but you're gonna do some air squats. Again, keeping that core tight. And then from there, you are going to do pike push-ups. This is really good for the traps and the shoulder muscles. It's like a push-up, only your butt is going to be in the air. And you're gonna bring your head down to the ground and back up. So those triceps, shoulders, and traps are gonna get a nice workout and get a nice stretch. Pike push-ups, and then 20 jumping squats. So these are awesome. Um, you want explosion at the top. Squat down just like you would in the air squat and then really use your force to jump as high as you can. So you're gonna do 20 of those for height and then 15 basic push-ups. Good form, keep the butt down, keep the core tight, chest to deck, and back up. And that's your warm-up. Monday's workout is going to consist of squats, Russian twists and strict push presses. So your squats, you're gonna hold your dumbbells. You're gonna have two. These are um, cans of beans because I don't have dumbbells with me today. So you're gonna take those dumbbells, put them in a front rack position. So to the shoulder, you're gonna hold them up and you're gonna get your 30 squats done. Again, making sure that knee does not exceed the toe and your butt is below parallel. 30 good squats for form. And then you're gonna sit down. Russian twists are um, really great for the abs, the outer obliques. You're gonna take your dumbbell and you're gonna simply touch one side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way to 20. And then strict push press, you're gonna stand back up. This is with no jerk or body movement. You're gonna take those dumbbells and strict press them up. So just a straight movement up. And you're gonna do three rounds of that. So after you complete those 10 strict push press with your dumbbells, you're gonna start over, do your 30 squats, your 20 Russian twists, and your 10 strict press. So three rounds um, of those movements, very simple, um, should take you about 10 minutes or so, maybe not even, just really good movement to get in after school. Tuesday's workout, go a little heavy on the dumbbells. Again, you're gonna use two. I want you to use a weight where you can get through all three movements without putting the weights down because you're gonna get a rest between rounds. So hang cleans are essentially, you're gonna have your dumbbells, they're gonna be at your knee, you're gonna bring them up. So you're really using that arm strength, little bit of leg, little bit of a jump from the knee. It's cleaning them up. 15 of those, and then you're gonna go right into a thruster. Thrusters are my favorite. They use your legs, abs, and arms, where you're just gonna keep those dumbbells in your hands. You're gonna squat down, 
push up to the top into a push press. So it's one fluid movement, legs, abs, arms, legs, abs, arms. That is a thruster. And you're gonna keep those dumbbells in your hand. And then you're gonna go right into a front squat. So again, front rack position with those dumbbells, 15 front squats. And then once those 15 are done, you're gonna rest for 30 seconds or actually one minute. And then you're gonna do those rounds over again for four rounds. Wednesday's workout is also using two dumbbells. You're gonna use the dumbbells for your push-ups. So I can't use these cans of beans, obviously, for push-ups, but what that's gonna look like is you're gonna set those dumbbells on the ground and you're gonna use the handles. Be, you know, if your dumbbells are gonna roll, don't use them. I don't want you getting hurt. But if they're safe and secure on the ground, um, you can use those dumbbells, the handles, and just do your push-ups. It's gonna give you a little bit of a deficit, so your chest is actually gonna go below um, your hands. So a little bit of a deficit, making that push up a little harder when you're using the dumbbells. So you're gonna get um, 20 push-ups on your dumbbells done. Then you're gonna go directly into a weighted sit-up, which is going to look like this. You're gonna take your dumbbell and you're gonna bring it back and it's gonna touch the ground. And you're gonna come back up and touch the weight between your feet. Again, keeping that core tight using strength in your abs to pull yourself up. If you need to lighten the weight, please do so. This should be one nice fluid movement. Even if you can't use a weight and you can't get the movement fluid um, with a weight, just drop the weight and do regular sit-ups. So you're gonna get 20 sit-ups in and then 20 walking lunges. You're gonna pick both of your dumbbells up again and you're gonna keep those dumbbells to your side one, two, three. You can do 10 down, 10 back, get 20 weighted walking lunges in. And then you're gonna repeat that two more times for a total of three rounds on Wednesday. All right, Thursday's workout includes a jump rope. Jump roping is so awesome for speed. Um, it is great. You might want to actually incorporate 100 jump ropes before every workout that you do after you do your warm up. You can do 100 jump ropes daily. You can even do more than that if you really feel um, energized. But use your jump rope for Thursday's workout. You're going to get 50 jump ropes in. Um, pretty basic. Start with 50. Then you're going to go into one arm thrusters, which are just like the double dumbbell thrusters we did earlier in the week. You're just going to use one dumbbell. I want you to make it heavy enough to where it's going to be challenging, but light enough where you can get all 20 thrusters done unbroken without having to put the weight down. So you're going to take your dumbbell, hold it to your shoulder, squat down, balance. The opposite side from where the weight is is going to overcompensate to create balance. Stay on your heels. Um, this is great for the core and you're just going to one fluid motion, push up. That's a right arm thruster. So you're going to get 20 of these done before you switch hands to your left side. 20 on the left. Again, keeping that core tight and really using those leg muscles and you're getting some arm strengthening in with it. Rest 30 seconds. Repeat that three more times for a total of four rounds for your Thursday workout. Friday's workout is a shorty, but a goodie. You can do the Bulgarian split squats on top of Friday's workout um, because you're probably gonna have time. But essentially, it's three rounds of split squats. You're gonna take your dumbbells. Again, make this challenging. So these 10 split squats on either side should be pretty difficult, where you're just going to obviously split your legs Hold your dumbbells at your side and you're going to go straight down. Knee touches the ground. That glute is really going to um, be used to bring yourself back up. So get 10 in on each side. After you get 10 on each side, you're going to take those same dumbbells and you're just going to push press them up. So you can, unlike the strict press, which there's no jerking, 
there's no motion, you can actually use your legs to get those weights up. So you're gonna be able to lift um, with a push press because you can use your body, body's momentum to get those weights up in the air. These might be a little bit heavier than your strict press because strict press, you're not using your body weight, you're simply just strict pressing those weights up into the air. So 20 push press, like I said, you can use those body, the body to give you momentum to get those weights up in the air. And then you're gonna rest 30 seconds, repeat for two more rounds, um, those 20 split squats and 20 push press. And then, like I said, if you wanted to add the Bulgarian split squats into Friday's workout, perfectly fine. So how that works is your toe is gonna come back on a bench. I'm using a styrofoam cooler, so I hope it holds up. And you're gonna keep these weights at your side and you're simply gonna come down. Again, it's really strengthening that glute muscle, which is gonna give you power for running, for speed. And you're just gonna do three sets of 10 on each leg, three sets of 20, but 10 on each leg, and just alternate your legs. But that's gonna give you a really good glute workout on Fridays. So enjoy, strengthen, incorporate at additional jump roping, running, sprinting, um, work, you know, batting with your tee at the ball field. Um, but that should give you a really good start.